We all love flowers for their vibrant colours and wonderful scents. Our lovely friends, the bees, help pollinate them. Today, we're in Adelaide where sweet golden honey has got this city buzzing. The city is the capital of South Australia and it boasts a glorious wine country, historical architecture, quaint cafes and more. The city is home to approximately one million people and its landmarks include the Terence River flowing through the centre of the city and mounty lofty ranges. I'm meeting food expert Mark Gleeson and he's going to give me the real buzz on bees and local honey but also on the fantastic products at the Adelaide market. Got a big day lined up, John. We're going to uh, we're going to visit some beehives, uh, some local and wild bees. The Adelaide Central Market is going to be a highlight, I think, for the day. Yeah. Everything sounds good, yeah. but the beehives. When you said we've got the best local honey, you didn't say <laughs> we were going near the beehives. We change. It's a change of plan. No, no I don't like these changes. <laughs> okay. Either. Sorry. I'm petrified. <laughs> no, bees, Mark. We're going to open up a, a traditional. <laughs> Beehive, we're going to get the gear on, we're going to pull it out. 20,000 bees, no, you can't go wrong. You'll be no, right. I can't do it. No, you'll be no, right. Trust me. It's okay, you seem so alright. It'll oh. be fine. It'll be fine. Okay, the first thing we're going to do is smoke the bees. And that means uh, it sets off an alarm for the bees to, uh, to uh, gorge on honey. Uh, while it distracts them, while we go in and have a look at what's going on. There you go. Now, I'm going to do you up completely. Do not leave any holes, you little rascal. <laughs> so the technique, if it starts to go out, just give it a little bit of a sharper pump like this. You want me to do it? You're going to do it. So what's happening now? Just pump a little bit into the gap. Ah, yeah. Are they getting noisier? Oh, that's on the I've never seen this side. Look at the comb, isn't it beautiful? It's stunning machine. They make that it? with the wax. Each cell is where the honey is stored. So that is, wow. a, that is a full frame. And that would contain around two to three kilos of honey per tray. Okay, you can hear the bees getting a little bit more excited now. Look at that, how beautiful is that? I can't believe we've just brought that from over there to here. Just give a bit out, you're gonna take some wax. Wow. Look at that. And the wax is sort of like a chewing gum, isn't it? It's like This one's a week old. Mm -hmm. This one is from a harvest two years ago. Really? So let's taste the difference. No. From the same hive, same location, same bees. Mm. That's got a bigger body to it. Mm. I wouldn't have known that honey as it's ages, mm. like wine, it mm. gets a better body to mm. it. Do you know, I think, it, I'm a little bit like honey. As I get older, I seem to be getting a better body to me. <laughs> it's good that you like your own jokes. <laughs> well, we're right in the middle of the city. We're in the oldest market in Australia uh, and the best. All of these little businesses are mum and dad operators. Uh, who some of these families have been here for two, three, four generations. So that's kids growing into the business, taking over the reins, bringing new product ranges in, redeveloping the business and, and renewing the supply chain out to the farms. Take the big bit, go on. Let's 
had Freddie Mercury, right, been a chef, would he have wrote, I want to bake brie? <laughs> yes. Pack her up. So you got to kiss him? No, no you, you don't. Are. Just gently. <laughs> so these are, these, these, are the one, these are the ones we had today for the oil tasting. Fantastic, beautiful. Good to meet you, Mario. Good to meet you. Delicious. Uh, you've got a dish to assemble. We've got to go through those key ingredients. I've got some fantastic South Australian olive oil for you to choose from. So let's go to the uh, to the milder one first. That's that one. Yep. And let's taste it. So when you taste it, it's a bit like turning your mouth into a coffee machine. Okay. You espress it back over your palate. Go okay, on. you ready? I'll show you. Go round, round, then. And then swallow. The more you sort of vaporise the... Uh, that's it, good. <laughs> it's actually quite peppery, isn't it? You're right. That's the peppery character that we're getting from the oil. That's the bitterness. So we're looking for bitter, pungent, and pepper. So that's pretty good. Okay, let's go to the other one now. Oh, 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 oh. You all right? First it's the bees, now it's the olive oil. This is grassy, peppery, pungent. This is spicy, robust, and, and bitter. So, but the true way to finish this now is to do that, that simple test. Let's do that. Just totally changes it, ah, that's it. Ah. But the other thing is we've taken it from being a, you know, a raw ingredient in a dish on its own yeah. to combining it with other, other ingredients yes. yeah. to give you that lovely, complex, uh, sensory yeah. experience. Right, I'm heading back. Thanks, good to see you, partner. No worries. Take care. <laughs> My name is Harald Neufang, I'm the executive pastry chef on Crystal Serenity. I've been working with Crystal Cruises since 23 years and my job is uh, to oversee the whole preparation and the pastry area and uh, all the restaurants. Harry! Hey! hey Tom! <laughs> Watch out! I just got back in. This honey is so floral. Smell. Try it. That's right, yeah, that's right. It must be the flower the bees are feeding on. Yeah, very strong. Isn't it? I've got olive oil. I'm not sure how we can incorporate it into the dessert. What do you think we could make with it? Let's make an uh, olive oil cake. See, that's why you are the master. The performers have been working really hard, so I wanted to surprise them with this olive oil cake and honey gelato. I'm so excited. Come on. <laughs> Hi, guys. <laughs> it's great to see you. We're working on a brand new dessert for Waterside tonight. Harold's plating it up at the moment. I was wondering, you wouldn't happen to know any fantastically talented musicians who would like to be taste testers, would you? Of course! Uh, Is that alright? <laughs> you try it for me? Yeah. Well, let me go and get it ready, and I'll be back in 10 minutes. As you can see, there's four different designs on the plate. In the kitchen, I'm working with Harry, and we're trying to see which one we like. And that's the fun part of being a chef, is that artistry, that creativity, using the plate as a canvas. 
This pays tribute to Adelaide. The ingredients come from the land. We added the cream cheese frosting to the plate and then scraped it across to give it this pretty pattern. Next, we made the chocolate honeycomb. For the gelato, we took some egg yolks, some milk, whisked that together and then added some of that fresh honey that we brought on board. I used an immersion blender to make sure this had a nice consistency. We cooked it and then added it to an ice cream machine. We let this freeze and it was important to get it to a good texture where it's light and fluffy. For the Grand Marnier and olive oil cake, we whisked together some flour, sugar and bacon powder. For the wet ingredients, we had some egg yolks, some milk and some olive oil. This was the olive oil we brought back on board from the market. Some fresh orange zest adds beautiful brightness as well as the juice of one orange. Mix the wet ingredients together and as always when you make a cake you want to now gently add your dry ingredients. Bring those together and you end up with the consistency of a Greek yogurt, a beautiful thin batter. We first tried this as a regular nine inch cake. We baked this off until it was golden brown and then we decided this would be nice in an individual portion. There's a drizzle of olive oil on there so you can capture more of that fruitiness and there's also a, a small amount of the beautiful honey drizzled. And then finally, you'll see some grated orange zest around to add a little bit of brightness. Now, that looks like somebody enjoyed cake. John, you can interrupt at our rehearsal any day of the week. What did you like? Is uh, just the absolute changes of flavors from one thing to another, and the silkiness of everything. It's just really beautiful. Yeah, and, and you know what? With the, with the honey in it, I thought it was going to be really sweet, maybe too sweet for me, but absolutely not. It was just perfect. Yeah. And uh, the olive oil as well, just so different. I've never had that before in a dessert. Very nice. I never tried honey with the ice cream before, and it's just such a perfect combination, and it's so soft and it's so mild, so beautiful in your mouth. It was really, really nice, but my favorite was the ice cream. It was really silky and soft, like a, like a velvet on a tongue. I'm going to pass all the feedback back onto the kitchen. Tonight we're going to be serving this in Waterside. I'm happy you enjoyed it. Thank you guys so much for all your entertainment you do. Thank you guys. That's how we end the show. Until next time, I'm John Ashton, this is Harold. Cheerio for now. Come on, give it to me one more time. <laughs>